Well, hello there. Once again, it is your lovely host there with the most. It is Teen Mara. Have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, what are you waiting for, people? Go check it out. Anyway, I have Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All those social media accounts will be down below. Last but not least, I have my own personal Facebook page. The link will be down below. It's called The Rara Show, so please... DM me if you really want to be part of the Rara show, but don't come on board to make fun of me. That is no good to anyone out there on social media. I want you to have your opinion on any kind of matter, okay? Like, we discuss about maybe politics, video games, movies, food, the prices are going up and stuff, anything, okay? Feel free. DM me, then we can make arrangements when is a good time for you to come on board. For me... I'll always try to make time for you, okay? I try my best. So, that wraps it up. Um, so, once again, I will discuss for you on this current subject, wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to dis discuss for you. Sorry about that. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one, there'll be an article. Let's get into this. Okay. Now, everyone knows that currently, Sasha Banks is the heel. Okay. I guess she wants to have a match with. Uh, Trish Stratus. I thought it would be Lita, but she has no beef with Lita right now. But that could always change. It says, listen to this. During yesterday's special pre-crown jewel edition, WWE, I'm sorry, of WWE The Bump, a fan asked Sasha Banks about the possibility of facing Trish Stratus in the future. According to Banks, Trish had been dodging her she said, we heard that before from other people. That is not true. It's not official. They're not going to have this on free TV, like on Raw Smackdown. They're going to have, if it does happen, like at WrestleMania or maybe at the Raw Rubble, you know? So the whole dodging thing, they just excuse. they just part of the storyline, okay? If this match does happen... Who do you think she'll win? Should it be the W Hall of Famer, Trish Stratus, or should it be the younger, the full timer, the future W Hall of Famer, the one and the only, tri sorry, the one and the only Sasha Banks? It all depends what W has plans, you know? Now listen to this. Or Trish Stratus lost a match to Charlotte Flair at SummerSlam 2019. I was pissed. You know, was it at the time that it was in Toronto, Canada at SummerSlam 2019? If it was, then they should have Trish Stratus pick up the victory. I know she's up to her knees, Trish Stratus, but she's in great shape. Okay. She came a long way. Okay. Now, if this match does happen, should there be a story to for this match, or they should just go, go right into it. Or they're going to duke it out on Twitter. You know, it seems like they, they've been doing that for a while. You know, in the current um, women of today, and then they've been calling out like a Hall of Famer on Twitter. You know? So, we'll see what's going to happen. They're not going to do it on free TV. Free TV means... Anybody could see SmackDown. Anybody could see Raw if they have that kind of provider. So this is just a build up for like Mania or Royal Rumble or even maybe next month, Sorosheries. I doubt that they're going to do that quickly. So I'm assuming they're going to do it, the Rumble, or maybe possibly next year's WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas. Do it next year in Dallas, Texas. Or they could do it the following year in Los Angeles, California, home of Hollywood. I don't know if they don't want to wait that long. By that time, probably Sasha Banks will go back to face. Or maybe she might be healed for the rest of her 
the WWE career. So I don't mind to see this match, but who's gonna win this match? Because Trish Stratus lost to Charlotte Flair SummerSlam 2019. You know, I love a uh, Trish Stratus, but I don't think she needs to pick up the victory over um, Banks. Probably they will help out Banks to upscale her career, but she don't need to to beat these legends down. But that's all part of the scrolling. I don't know how this is going to work out. Maybe by that time, Sasha Banks will be champion. Or maybe not. Who knows? So, <clears throat> I wonder how much money the W ask for the Legends Hall of Famers to make an appearance at like a pay per view or Raw or SmackDown. I'm just wondering how much money do they give them? They're not going to come, they're not going to make an appearance. On TV for nothing. They want to get paid. For a, just a short time on TV. So that's it. So I was just wondering. I think this match will definitely will happen in the future. They're not going to do it. On Smackdown. Be silly. You know I know they want to boost up the ratings. But. Just build up a match. Like for like maybe a Mania. Or. SummerSlam of next year, but they're not gonna wait that long. They want to do it this year. Well, they could do it. They could do it if they really want to. Sarasheries, but usually Sarasheries is like champion versus champion, like um, Bragging Rights 2.0. Like I said before, if they want to bring back Bragging Rights, might as well bring them back the pay per view concept. Sarasheries, I miss the old format of, of Sarasheries, you know, like five and five. And then they have one championship match, but they don't do that no more. So, so dumb, bragging rights. So it's so stupid how they do it in today's modern era for Sarasri. Sarasri's had not been really good with the format in a long time. But what do I know? I prefer old school format of Sarasri's. I don't know if anyone will agree with me. Probably these younger fans will not agree with me. I prefer bring back bragging rights, but bragging rights was not a good, very good concept. It was stupid. Whoever wins Raw SmackDown will get a a trophy, big flipping deal. It was terrible booking, but whatever. And everyone out there enjoy the rest of your Saturday. That's just my opinion. Probably you have a different opinion on the matter. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. All the information will be down below. Even the social media accounts will be down below too. See you guys tomorrow. Enjoy your rest of your Saturday once again. Peace out.